breaking up some China in Washington. He's smashing the status quo. He's shattering all the establishment politics. The old rules are gone. That's why one such cowardly bureaucrat who claims to be a senior official in the Trump administration acting out New York Times op-ed claiming to be a part of the so-called resistance. Really? Within our government, we have a resistance? Uh, wow. We have sleeper cells within our government? This is a clear and present danger to the country. Now, in an interview on Fox and Friends, the president slammed this anonymous New York Times and the Times itself for publishing this nonsense. Take a look. I think this audience would say that an attack on you is an attack on the people that voted for you. Yeah. Are you, are you any, any closer to knowing who did it and what should be done if you find out who did it? Well, number one, the Times should never have done that because really what they've done is virtually, you know, it's treason. You can call it a lot of things. That is beyond unacceptable. It's like a soft coup aided and abetted by the corrupt media in this country. Washington Post reporting sleeper cells within our own government. Think about that. Inside the administration. What, to under... Senior official have a security clearance, access to top secret information, sources, methods, and the potentially compromised? Is he here, the president, talking about war and peace? You know, and look at this particularly alarming part of the article. Look at this. We will do it the, what we can to steer the administration in the right direction until one way or another, it's over. One way or another? What is one way or another? It will vote it out, impeached, die in office? Is that a veiled threat? Where's the Secret Service? Either way, given this person alleged proximity to the president, it should be investigated and treated as a matter of national security. Now, perhaps the president should use the Obama model and track down the anonymous saboteur. According to reports, no previous president was more tough on leakers than Obama. I know, shocking. He subjected his own staff to lie detector tests, prosecuted multiple individuals, targeted members of the press who published leaked stories, including former Fox News reporter James Rosen, who was surveilled, even accused of being a co-conspirator because he dared to report uh, with anonymous sources inside the Obama White House. That was Obama that did all that. Meanwhile, the super patriot who authored this op-ed in the New York Times, if you were truly working behind the scenes for the benefit of the country, why not stay behind the scenes? Why, why risk exposure in a very public way? Because this individual, unelected, is unaccountable. They think their truth is better than what the president ran on, what the American people voted for. And he's pushing their political agenda, he or her, whoever it happens to be, that they know better than we, the smelly Walmart people. And those opinions are more valued than, than your opinions. But ultimately, this is an attack on the presidency and the country. The country can get hurt in this process. The very reason why President Trump and the Secret Service now must do everything in their power to dismantle the deep state and find out whoever this is.